Riverhorse, current kings of the licensed miniatures game, have begun to deliver one of their kickstarted games based upon the Pacific Rim Extinction movie. The game arrives in an impressive looking box, complete with two windows that show off the two pre-assembled, pre-painted miniatures. The sturdy box surrounds a plastic tray, in which may be found miniatures of the giant Gypsy Avenger piloted mecha suit and an alien casual monster. These are pre-assembled and painted plastic figures and sculpted bases. The quality of the plastic used on the figures is good and the overall stand of assembly is well done. Some of the colour matching between paint on different parts of the figures is slightly off, but the overall effect is spot on. In addition, the tray has 16 dice, 15 blue with various symbols on them and one black. Lifting the tray we come upon the game cards. The smallest size cards are for the Gypsy Avenger and represents the operators and special equipment and weapons that may be used by this Pan Pacific Defence Corps mecha. The more playing card size red cards are used by the Keiju Monster with different types of attacks and defence options. Lastly, the largest cards are the scenario are the scenario or mission cards which outline the table setup, deployment and special rules for each game. The rule books is next, a 31 page softback book. The layout of the rules and use of pictorial examples is excellent with plenty of spacing to aid understanding. The background to each page is a touch of blue which could aid those with vision issues although the size of the font used is a little small at times. In addition there are some great photographs and art from the movie which really add to the overall look of the book. A double-sided paper game mat is beneath the book, with one side representing what looks like a partially destroyed city landscape, and the other looks like what appears to be the ocean floor, complete with a sunken wreck. Next comes a character or profile card for each of the figures in the core set, with space to play upgrades, mutations and attack choices as per the action cards. Lastly, there are seven punch boards on heavy card of scale 3D buildings, tokens, 2D terrain pieces, movement trackers and more. Many of the terrain tokens are actually double sided with cityscape on one side and undersea terrain on the other. Overall this is a well packaged core set which comes from a company known for meeting the needs of gamers and movie merchandise collectors. The gameplay seems simple but nuanced and let's face it who doesn't want to reenact battles between giant mecha suits and massive keiju monsters. This video has been produced by WI Prime. WI Prime is Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. As a WI Prime member, you get access to all Wargames Illustrated videos before anyone else. We'll keep you posted on what's new via the Primetime News Bulletin delivered to your inbox every Friday. If you are not a WI Prime member, you're missing out on loads of benefits, including access to the Wargames Illustrated Vault, freebies, discount vouchers, PDFs of the latest magazine, and more. Find out more about WI Prime by following the link.